This is I Could Sing of Your Love Forever in the key of D. This is a real simple way to chord along to this song. Have a lot of fun. Uh, make sure to stop the video. And if you click on the description below, you will find the printable chord sheet that I have for you. And you can print out and it'll make a lot more sense. All right. So in this song, we have D, G, A, and then we have an E minor. All right. So let's go through those chords. If you look for this group of two black notes, in between that note is a D in between those black notes, I should say. If we play D, F sharp, A, that is a D major chord. Okay, it makes this triangle shape, okay? All right, freeze that shape in your hand. And if you move down here, just directly between these group of three black notes here, that's an A major chord. A, C sharp, E. Okay, then move down one set of notes and you're in the G position. D, G, A. Okay. And then our E minor, we went to that D, remember, between the group of two. If you play every other note right up from there, E, G, B. That's an E minor chord, the E with the little M. All right, so just those four chords. So um, I'm going to put thumb on D in my left hand. For the left hand, we're just going to be playing single notes. So when we play a D chord here, we're just going to play D single note that E minor, just open your left hand, thumb, open one note. Okay, don't move your hand and lose position. Just open your thumb, play that E minor to E. Okay, then we have G to G. And then our A to A. Okay, remember the right hand is a triangle shape for that A major chord. All right, so let's talk about the way the two hands are going to come together. It's written in 4-4 four, four time signature, so it's a simple rhythm I call 1-2 to two ratio, or together, right, together, right, together, right, together, right, and that looks like this. Just get used to playing that nice, simple marching rhythm. It gives you a really great place to start. All right, so I'm going to sing through verse one so you can hear how it sounds. And over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth. So you could just see it's a nice, simple marching rhythm like this. Together, right, together, right. Um, <clears throat> so I write the chord above the word or the syllable um, in which that next chord should change. So try to just watch that chord sheet. Notice that I'm pretty particular in how to write those so that you can anticipate that next chord change. All right, so let's start out with verse one there, going slower. So you're on D to D in the bass. And we're just gonna do that nice marching rhythm. Over the mountains and the sea. Hold on, sorry. And over the mountains and the sea. Okay, then we move to the E minor. So open up your thumb. Your river runs with love for me. <laughs> Hold on. Your river runs with love for me. Yeah, G. So let's talk about some patterns. So in the verse, lines one and three repeat, right? D, E minor, D, E minor. Second and fourth line are G, A, G, A. So notice music has patterns and that helps simplify it. All right, let's look at the chorus. Same thing, D, E minor, G, A, D, E minor, G, A. All right, pretty simple. So let's just do that chorus in case you're not familiar with that. Starts with a D. And I could sing of your Sing of your E minor, love forever, G, and I could sing of your love, A, love forever, back to the 
Okay, the bridge, um, let's talk about a pattern there. So if you notice, E minor D, the first and third line, G, A are the second and fourth lines. So you can just go through with just right hand only if bringing the two hands is too complex for you. So just go E and then D, G, A. Repeat, E minor, D, G, and A, okay? the beginning if you need a little help you can do this the chorus and the verse are the same bridge just changes it up a little bit with the order of those chords all right here we go beginning to end play along with me have a lot of fun Right.